Now we return to a story that we first spoke about on this podcast a few months ago, and that's the interstellar object, comet, alleged spacecraft, (laughs) a three-eye atlas. And this is only the third object to visit us from another star system that we know of anyway. Mm -hmm. And since we first spoke about it, astronomers have been gathering a lot of data on the comet, and it looks pretty weird. How much can we really trust that what we're seeing really is a comet? It's not had the same journey as other comets in our solar system, right? It, it's not what we normally expect. No, not at all. It had this really sudden activity when it came close to the sun. So it went from pretty much not giving off much at all to suddenly spurting out all of this carbon dioxide and, and now methanol, and hydrogen cyanide. And that happened really quickly. And that suggests that it's been knocking around intergalactic space for quite a long time mm. and probably not encountered any other stars that have heated it in that way. There was one early study that said it might even be 8 billion years old, which is possibly twice as old as the sun. And in that time, it would have been blasted by cosmic rays for a long time. It might have kind of developed this hard outer crust, which means that what we're seeing now is the result of its travel through space and not actually how it was made or or what's inside it. And it's still passing through our solar system right now, so we can find out more, can we? Yeah, exactly. So it reached its closest point to the sun in late October, this thing called perihelion, uh, and it's currently exiting our solar system. So astronomers are scrambling to basically find everything they can before this leaves and never visits us again, presumably.